Our verse for today is in Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 to 2. Jesus led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And after fasting 40 nights, he was hungry. Also in Luke 4, 14. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit to Galilee. And the report about him went out through all the surrounding country. It's now in the middle of the year and uh, most of the churches are holding prayer and fasting. So the question comes, why fast? Fasting is spiritual too. God uses to advance his kingdom, change the destiny of nations, spark revival, and bring victory in people's lives. At the start and middle of each year, we take time to pray and fast to humble ourselves before God. Seek Him, consecrate ourselves to Him, and corporately agree for breakthroughs. So why do we fast? Because Jesus Himself fasted for 40 nights. And he returned in the power of the Spirit. The power of the Spirit. And the report about him went out through all the surrounding country. Question comes to mind. What if Jesus did not fast? Was he able to overcome temptation by the devil? Was he able to return in the power of the Spirit to Galilee? Jesus knew that he was going to need spiritual strength to fulfill his purposes. Fasting makes us spiritually strong and prepares us to do God's work. So till naman tong slide natin, pagkain pa yung picture. Fasting is an act of humility and an act of consecration. Ezra in chapter 8 verse 21 said, I proclaim the fast in the river Ahava that we might humble ourselves before our God to seek from Him a safe journey for ourselves, our children, and all our goods. And even this year, at the middle of this year, we're still seeking God for a safe journey towards the end of the year that we might humble ourselves before God. As we humble through prayer, fasting, receive God's answers to our, to our prayers. Fasting helps us become sensitive to the Holy Spirit. The apostles experienced this. But while they, are, they were worshiping the Lord, while they were fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work for which I have called them. That's in Acts 13. Iwalay niyo si Barnabas at si Saul. Si Barnabas na tinawag na the encourager. When we deny ourselves of natural cravings and worldly distractions, we become more sensitive to God's voice. Then we are better able to focus on God and submit to His will. Kung tayo ay medyo mag-fast doon sa natural cravings natin, mga mukbang na yan, at yung mga uh, gadgets natin na kung saan most of the time nandun tayo, then we're able to focus on God and submit to His will. Fasting also brings revival. And your ancient ruin shall be rebuilt. You shall raise up the foundations of many generations. And you shall be called the repairer of the bridges, the bridge, the restorer of streets to the Sabine Isaiah. Ancient ruins shall be rebuilt. Brings revival. Throughout history, God has brought revival and delivered nations from destructions in response to prayer and fasting. 
because fasting helps us prevail in prayer and intercession. You may remember kahit dun sa book of Jonah, kung saan nalaman ng mga taga ni Nebe yung destruction of parating. Even though they are not God's people, when they fasted, God changed his mind. At doon nagagalit itong si Jono. Bakit gano'n na? So yung mapanood na yung mga, mga yung nation, yung mga, yung mga tao na nang api sa kanila, mga parusahan. But God was merciful because the, peop, the people, the king and all beast and men fasted. Fasting is healthy. So why do we fast? Because fasting is healthy. Fasting cleanses our digestive system from toxins. Doctors consider fasting a cure for certain allergies and diseases. The discipline of fasting helps break unhealthy addictions in our lives. So, maganda sa kalusugan ng tao ang pag Ang ginugal ko yung why fasting is healthy. Nagulat naman ako. Sabi niya, fasting is good for your brain. Good for weight loss. Hindi ko pa na naipipitik yung enter eh. Na key. Ito na lang lahat lumabas. Intermittent fasting is healthy. Fasting is uh, good spiritually. Fasting is good for the brain. Fasting is good for your gut. or digestive system. Fasting is also good for diabetes. Pero medyo nakatataka, merong isang item. Fasting is not healthy. So, tingnan natin yun. The health benefits of fasting, these are scientific uh, proven. Blood sugar control, inflammation, heart health, brain functions, Weight loss, growth hormone, longevity, cancer prevention. More in detail. Sabi niya, fasting promotes blood sugar control by reducing insulin resistance. May enhance heart health by improving blood pressure, triglycerides, and cholesterol levels. And also may boost brain function and prevent neuro- neurodegenerative disorders. boost brain functions. Siyempre, ayaw natin na magkaroon demensya, no? O di mag-fasting na lang tayo. Yung alternate day fasting, yung intermittent fasting, o kaya yung long period fasting, yung gagawin ngayong hmm. mid-year. It also aids a weight loss by Limiting calorie intake and boosting metabolism increases growth hormone secretion, which is vital for growth, metabolism, weight loss, and muscle strength. And also could extend longevity. Itong longevity, sa mga Japanese, ito yung sila ka number one. Eh. Mahabad lang ka ng buhay. May umabot 120. Sa atin, 70, 80. It may aid in cancer prevention and increase the effectiveness of chemotherapy. Harap may harap tayong uh, alamin kung ano yung gamot sa cancer, pero meron palang prevention. Hmm. Safety and uh, sa, ang safety natin sa, sa fasting. Despite the long list of possible health benefits associated with fasting, it may not be right for everyone. Hindi lahat pwede. Example, sabi ng Google, if you have diabetes, fasting can lead to spikes and crashes in your blood sugar levels, which could be dangerous. Ito palang spike na to, yung parang, alam mo yun, yung sa YouTube, meron kang din in-upload na video mo na Sobrang viral. mag spike ngayon yung, ano, yung number of views mo. Yung parang mat, matarik na bundok yung analytics niya. Parang ganun. 
Yung parang nung nasa hospital ako. Tinunan ako ng alas 6, it's only 139. Pinakain ba naman kasi ako ng tusino? Tinunan ako ng alas 10, sila? 249 agad. Yun ang sinasabi nilang spikes. Sa hapon naman, biglang babagsak yung sugar levels. So, uh, sabi niya, you should tap, talk to a doctor first if we have any underlying health conditions or planning to fast for more than 24 hours. So, kung mga 16 hours lang, like intermittent fasting, okay lang. Basta sa hapon, eh, siguraduhin yung mag- You, you eat small bites or candy or chocolate. Basta masarap yata yung chocolate. Para hindi mag, mag-crush yung sugar. Still on safety. Additionally, fasting is not generally recommended without medical supervision. Supervision for adults, older adults. Ibig sabihin, ito yung mga natured matured daw eh. hindi sabi ko natured people sa Ilocano naturod ano ba spelling ng nature di ba naturod older adults also for adolescents or people with underweight if you decide to try fasting be sure to stay well hydrated inom na inom fill your diet with nutrient dense foods during your eating periods maximize the potential health benefits. Also, if fasting for longer periods, try to minimize intense physical activity, get plenty of rest and sleep. Let's pray. Lord, we pray that uh, you would give us the determination and safety to do fasting and prayer as uh, you please. That God You would spark revival and bring victory in people's lives. We pray that we will humble ourselves before you, O God. To seek you, consecrate ourselves before you, and that we will agree for breakthroughs and seek breakthroughs. In Jesus' name. Have a nice day. <laughs>